David bought the top of Mount Moriah and he wanted to build the temple there, but God wouldn't let him. He said, your hands are too bloody. Uh, let's wait on somebody else. So then Solomon built it. And Solomon's temple sat right up there, actually on bedrock. Later, after that temple's destruction, the return, you know, when King Herod came along, Herod wanted to build, build a really big, huge monumental temple. So they went in and they built these giant retaining walls. So the wailing wall down here, when it's praying, it's all that's left of the temple construction. It's not actually the temple itself, it's just the retaining walls that allowed him to backfill with dirt, create a large flat space to set the temple on top of. You know, then even a bit later in history, when the Muslims conquered the area, they decided they wanted to put their own monuments up there. And so almost exactly where the temple stood, in the time of Jesus, we have the Dome of the Rock now. And here on the south end, we have the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And that's a lot, a lot of what drives conflict here today, which is that you know both Jews and Muslims use holy space.